Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial on XCircuit. A viewer of our channel has recently sent me a file that when I open, I found that the output is not centered. And because of that, you will see some clipping in this image. So some, some clipping here in this resistor, some clipping here in this text. So how to get rid of this problem? So to do that, first of all, let's, uh, let's start XCircuit. Double click on this icon, maximize this go to file and we have to read that file so go to file and read X circuit file and drop down to your folder descend down to your folder and click on figure six now if you look here this is perfectly centered okay and there doesn't seem to be any problem but when you save this by going to file and write X circuit you will see that uh, you know the output is not centered so this happens sometimes when you're uh, a circuit sometimes is you know your schematic is bigger larger and in that case you would like to draw some kind of you know boundary so to draw a boundary what you do is you click on this box here right and uh, just uh, you know draw a boundary around this uh, schematic so to do that I will just click here and then sorry click here left click and then move your mouse okay I'm not dragging my mouse I'm just moving my mouse okay nice and easy and then press shift and left button to get rid of that command okay so shift and left click is what you use to end the command in X circuit now if you go ahead and you know do file and write X circuit and let's get, go ahead and call this you know figure 6 MD my name so uh, you will you will find that the uh, you know it solves our problem like you know the image is center now and for us like it is not a problem for us means like you know the one who used a snipping tool windows a snipping tool so for us there is no problem we can go ahead and we can get rid of that boundary and lo and behold we have this image but sometimes especially some unix and you know linux sorry some unix and uh, linux user they want the output to be in native ps format the postscript format and they also don't want to see this boundary right so how to get rid of that boundary so to do that go here and shift left click to choose this uh, rectangle and go and define this as a bounding box so to go to option go to options and elements border and here define this as a bounding box and now when you define this as a bounding box this turns into a green kind of you know uh, rectangle and it means it will not be visible when you plot the output when you uh, draw get the output so go ahead and write the output by clicking on this right x circuit and let's go ahead and say overwrite and let's go to this uh, folder and reopen this and lo and behold this boundary is not there right so this is how you draw a bounding box now i also noticed that while we are here we will try to solve one or two more you know point out some one or two more points is when i uh, if you see that uh, output you will see that this text is you know colliding with this and if you sometime what happens is when you try to uh, you know move this it will move by a very large amount do you see that i'm not able to because this moves only on grid point right and that's why if you recall from our previous tutorial uh, i will first of all i will press shift z to you know zoom in a bit shift z a couple of times to zoom in and if you recall from our previous tutorial we can reduce the grid size by just clicking the negative sign below the underscore on keyboard okay so just hit that negative sign button a couple of times you see how this is changing if you do a couple of times the grid size will get smaller and smaller and you will be able to move this more smoothly like so okay so this is how you uh, you know solve a problem and then press for example this one this arrow and then press R button and this will move this and this you know reducing the grid size will also help you like sorry also help you uh, move this nicely nice and smoothly so this is how you you know use uh, X circuit uh, reduced grid size by clicking the minus sign okay and if you press shift plus now a couple of times you will get back to where you have been so shift plus is for 
you know increasing the grid size and just pressing negative sign on the keyboard will help you reduce the grid size okay so i hope this tutorial was useful if you like this tutorial uh, press uh, you know like button on the channel and subscribe to my channel if and to you know make this full screen or sorry uh, zoom fit to window you just press v here okay and this is v button on the keyboard v v for valley so if you press v button it will be zoom fit so i hope this tutorial was helpful thank you very much for watching